10 most popular French dishes, what to eat in France. Do you know what they say about French cuisine? It's too fancy for the likes of us. Well, I'm here to tell you that it's not. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 of the most popular French dishes. These recipes are so easy and come together in just a few minutes. You don't need to be a gourmet chef. Number 10. Creme Brulee. This traditional egg custard dish has a crispy, burnt toffee crust and is made with egg yolks, cream, sugar, and vanilla. The mixture is cooked, then transferred to ramekins, poached in a bain-marie, and chilled well. The chilled custard is often served on large, flat bowls and covered with brown sugar caramelized with a blowtorch or under a broiler. The dish's origins are a mystery, with England, Spain, and France all claiming to have originated it. Custards were popular in the Middle Ages, according to most food historians, and custard recipes traveled throughout Europe for ages. Number 9. Foie Gras. The controversial force-feeding procedure called gavage, in which grain is fed to ducks and geese, mainly hybrid male Millard ducks, through a feeding tube is used to create this delicious, pricey food product. Force-feeding causes the livers of birds to expand and become full of a buttery, slightly sweet fat. The livers are melted in their own juices with a pinch of salt to make foie gras, which is a supple product. The texture is comparable to ice cream and is usually served chilled in scoops or slices. Number 8. Palm Frite. There aren't many foods on the planet that have achieved the kind of popularity that palm frite have. This basic cuisine, which originated in Belgium, is created with potatoes chopped into lengthwise strips and deep fried in heated oil. Despite some rivalry between France and Belgium about the true origins of palm frite, no nation in the world cherishes and enjoys this meal more than the Belgians. They consume it as a side dish or a snack on a regular basis, and palm frite shops, known as frite coats or fritures, can be found all over the country. Freshly produced palm frite in the Belgian style are sliced into thicker pieces and fried on the spot. Number 7. Souffle. This enormously popular French delicacy is enjoyed all over the world renowned among chefs for its unforgiving character, which provides little to no room for error during the cooking process, and known to gourmets for its light, airy texture. This delicate cake is made up of two parts, a pudding or cream foundation and an egg white meringue. Soufflés come in two flavors, sweet and savory. Sweet soufflés are nearly exclusively served as desserts and usually feature a sauce in the middle. Cheese, crab, and onions are common ingredients in savory soufflés, which are typically served as an appetizer. Number 6. Bisque. Cream, shellfish, cognac or wine, and a mix of spices are usually used in this thick, creamy, and rich pureed soup. The origin of its name is still controversial. Some say it relates to a soup that has been cooked twice because the traditional method of cooking the soup entails roasting the shellfish first and then simmering them in the rich broth again. Another theory connects it to the cuisine of the Bay of Biscay, which includes spicy spices similar to those found in bisque. The bisque was first referenced in the 17th century as a shellfish soup, prompting food historians to speculate that it was initially a fisherman's dish meant to extract the maximum flavor from whatever ingredients were available. Number 5. Eclair. These elongated pastries with an attractive glaze, crisp outside, soft doughy inside, and sweet, creamy center developed in France around the turn of the 20th century. Most food historians believe they were created by renowned French chef Marie-Antoine Carme. Eclairs, French for lightning, is thought to have gotten their name from the way the light reflected off them when they were coated with confectioner's glaze. The Boston Cooking School Cookbook, published in 1884, has the earliest recipe for these delectable sweets. Eclairs are becoming increasingly popular in France and around the world, and novel fillings such as green tea and lemon cream have been introduced. Number 4. Macarons. The surface of these little, round, sweet meringue-based cookie sandwiches with filling on the inside is light and crispy, while the inside is chewy. Macarons gained their name from the Italian term macaron, which means fine dough, and originally appeared in Italy in 1533, although without the filling. They were created for the wedding of the Duke of Orléans, who went on to become King Henry II of France. The macaron is credited to Pierre Desfontaines, according to food historians. He was the first to fill the cookies with a creamy ganache and sandwich them together, transforming the simple almond cookie into the multi-purpose delight we know today. Number 3. Baguette. This long, light, airy bread with its distinctively crunchy crust dates back to the 19th century when wheat and white loaves were no longer a privilege of the wealthy. 
Baguettes were manufactured long before the word baguette was coined. The word baguette was first used in 1920, and it is derived from the Latin root baculum, which means stick or staff and is translated as bacchetto in Italian. Baguettes were originally prepared as long, wide loaves of bread, but due to a 1920 regulation prohibiting workers from starting work before 4 a.m., bakers were unable to finish the bread in time for breakfast. Number 2. Quiche. A pastry crust is filled with eggs, cream, and anything from bacon, cheese, and leek to mushrooms and shellfish in this classic French pie. Quiche is a popular choice for parties and buffet tables because it is usually highly filling and heavy in calories. It is traditionally cut into slices and can be eaten hot or cold. There are many different types of quiche nowadays, but the most popular is quiche Lorraine, quiche Florentine, and quiche Provençal. Number 1. Croissant. Pure butter and somewhat sweet yeast dough are the perfect ingredients for these flaky, golden-colored crescent-shaped pastries. When removed from the middle, the yellow-white interior should be slightly elastic, ready to be topped with a pad of butter or some fresh jam if made properly. The croissant was greatly influenced by Austrian kipfels, according to experts. This pastry was created in 1683 to commemorate Austria's triumph over the Ottoman Empire and its shape is said to resemble the crescent moon on the Turkish flag. Thank you for watching, remember to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell.